Hi everybody, welcome to Ace Engineering Academy and Ace Online. This video is regarding an important update from Union Public Service Commission regarding Engineering Services Examination 2025. So, here UPSC has given an addendum to Engineering Services Examination 2025 for the notice dated 18th September 2024. So, dated 18th October 2024, that means today this addendum has been open and here you can see the engineering services examination 2025 was notified on 18th September 2024 with last date for receipt of application as 8th October 2024. Meanwhile, the government has decided to include Indian Railway Management Service with its sub cadres of civil, mechanical, electrical, signals and telecommunication and stores in the scheme of ESC 2025. So as you all know that IRMS was introduced again back to engineering services examination 2025. So, those posts are being included. That is the reason what they have done is they have opened again the new application window. So, the new application window will be available from 18th 10 2024 to 22nd 11 2024. So, Revised correction window. So, after applying, if anybody wants to do corrections, so they can do the corrections from 23rd November 2024 to 29th November 2024. So, this is about the new application window and the revised correction window. The students who have already applied, they need not apply, but they can do the editing regarding if they want to apply for IRMS, they can do that. and if they want to do any corrections also, they can do from this 23rd November 2022 onwards. The students who have not applied for ESC 2025, they can apply now from today 18 10 2024 to 22nd 11 2024. So, this is the new application window that was given dear students. So, here he has given in the remarks combined window for new applicants and also enabling old ones to make changes with respect to addendum. So, if you want to do any changes, the students who have already applied and the new applications, so they can start from 18th October 2024 to 22nd November 2024. So, accordingly, the following changes addendum to the notice of ESC 2025 published on 18th September 2024 are hereby made. Okay. The following shall be sub substituted for PERAS 2.1 and 2.2 under column are important. So, what he is saying here is, see here, this one, in case the candidate wants to effect any change in his or her OTR, so one time registration profile, what you have done, if anybody wants to do any changes, it shall be allowed only once in the lifetime after the registration at OTR platform. So, only once in the lifetime you can do the changes. The change in OTR profile data shall be available as under. So, here the candidates who have already applied for the examination need not to apply again. However, they would be able to make corrections in their OTR profile. So, this is one time registration profile during the application window from 18th 10 2024 to 22nd November 2024. The correction or edit window shall be opened from 23rd November 2024 to 29th November 2024 to all candidates. So, this is the first thing regarding one time registration editing. Okay. So, if you want to go for any kind of corrections, so here the commission has also decided to extend the facility of making corrections in any field of the application form for this examination as under. See, first, first one is regarding one-time registration and this one is regarding the corrections in application form. So, here the candidates who have already applied for the examination need not to apply again. However, they would be able to make corrections in their application forms during the application window from 18th October 2024 to 22nd November 2024. The correction or edit window shall be opened from 23rd November 2024 to 29th November 2024 for all the candidates. This is what is mentioned here. 
the online applications can be filled from 18th October 2024 to 22nd November 2024 till 6 pm only. Don't think that till midnight we will have the option. So, till 6 pm only, this is given, dear students. Now, the following shall be inserted in the list of participating services. So, in the list of participating services, here, category 1 civil engineering, IRMS civil then IRMS stores civil engineering posts, then category 2 mechanical engineering, IRMS mechanical, IRMS stores mechanical engineering posts. So, two are there here for civil and mechanical and for electrical engineering also Indian Railway Management Service electrical, IRMS stores electrical engineering posts. Similarly, electronics and telecommunication engineering, Indian Railway Management Service signal and telecommunication, IRMS stores signal and telecommunication engineering posts. So, these were given here. The following shall be inserted in the table under age limits in page number 5. So, here you can see column 1, Ministry of Railways will be there, column 2, IRMS, depending upon the department you can choose here. The period of apprenticeship if followed by appointment against a working post on the railways may be treated as railway service for the purpose of age concession. So, if there is any apprenticeship being done by any candidate, that also will be considered for age concession, dear students. So, try to go through that carefully. And the most important thing here is, a candidate of ESC 2025 will be eligible to get the benefit of economically weaker section reservation only in case the candidate meets the criteria issued by the central government and is in possession of requisite income and asset certificate based on the income for financial year 2023-2024 and issued on or after 1-4-2024 that means April 1st 2024 after the completion of financial year 2023-2024 but not later than the closing date of the application for engineering services prelims examination 2025 that is 22-11-2024. So, try to understand here, the academically weaker section students, whoever want to apply under that category, so they have to get, they have to get a requisite income and asset certificate. So, which should be issued later from April 1st, 2024. After April 1st, 2024, that financial income and asset certificate should be issued. Okay, So, try to remember this. The next one, the OBC candidates applying for ESC 2025 must produce OBC non creamy layer certificate based on the income for the financial year 2023-2024, 2022-2023 and 2021-2022 and issued on or after, on or after 1st April 2024 after the completion of financial year 2023-2024, but not later than the closing date of the application for engineering services prelims examination 2025. So, that is 22nd November 2024. Now, the most important thing, dear students, preliminary stage 1 examination of the engineering services examination for recruitment to the services post mentioned in the para 2 below will be held by the UPSC on 8th June 2025. So, the examination has got postponed to 8th June 2025, dear students, okay, in accordance with the rules published by the Ministry of Communications, Department of Telecommunications in the Gazette of India Extraordinary dated 18th September 2024 and addendum dated 18 10 2024. So, the examination date has got postponed and additionally, there are 457 posts that are being included. Okay, these posts number might vary dear students. So, try to go through this addendum carefully and do the required corrections. So, the students who have already applied, you can do the corrections. Okay, you can do corrections in one time registration for one time only throughout your lifetime and second one in the application form, correction window will be opened. So, you can do the corrections. And if you want to apply for IRMS, you can apply. So, the students who did not apply, now they can apply because from today, the notification has again 
opened. Okay, you can open the application window and apply again. Okay, thank you. All the best, dear students.